I am pleased to present that the Comic Sans Comedy Club will be open once again. Tomorrow night, from 7 to 9 o'clock in this room, super sponsors, you get a table and refreshments. Sponsors, you get to look at all of them and have a good time. But, oh, and attending, you're actually pretty cool too, so come on in. Tomorrow night, we will be doing a charity event in this room, hosted by Dragor, presented by myself, Pandez, your guest of honor, Fern, who has disappeared. Hi. There he is, Fern, and members of the audience chosen by your performance tonight. Tomorrow night, 8 to 9 p.m., we are doing a true Whose Line Is It Anyway panel with the people who have been doing this for years. Please come out and enjoy it. We like to do that for the kind of charity panel to help the, uh, the Humane Society in the area. That's what we do that for. So if you enjoy this and you want to see a bunch of people make assholes of themselves, he's going to make us look like idiots up on stage. Yay! It's going to be fun. All right, so without further ado, from this side of the room, where are they? Where are they for this questions only game? Grocery store. Grocery store can be a little bit more than a grocery store. Whole Foods. Hey, no, I heard it. Whole Foods. All right, you fucking hippies, you're at Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna run and get my notes. Would you do my fucking help for a few minutes? Guys, thank you very much. I'm gonna get everything. These two are gonna take over, and I'll be right back. Thank you. Quick word to the people on this side. You watch the wires coming from front. You might stand there, but you should be okay. Just be fine. All right. Contestants, are you ready? Yeah. Contestants, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Round one. Begin. Have you seen the kale? <laughs> How much can I buy here for a hundred bucks? Do you only have a hundred bucks? <laughs> can I only buy like bread and water now? What else would you need? <laughs> Is the bread gluten free? <laughs> Is there any other kind? <laughs> Is there one with kale in it? Thank <laughs> you. 
this the real life? Can't you see I'm trying to work here? Is this just fantasy? Do you often suffer from delusions? <laughs>
this terrifies me. You went to first square. On the count of three, you may get into positions. I will randomly yell out, stop, go! I always paid attention. The only thing I heard out of there is I'm going to give you the count of three to get into positions. Audience, are they alive? <laughs> stop! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, they're frozen. Could you please describe this family photo? You get to look at it. <laughs> I just seem, I was especially wouldn't have done that the conservative um uh, <laughs> 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 I know that you can yeah, face the audience. Oh, that's okay, face the audience. I really have no idea why this is going to come out and invite all the family to a group for a <laughs> I kind of regret not to find that we're actually LARPing and you want to stop the cutlery store. <laughs> I should have noticed when that Jane was just sharpening on that eye. I don't know, I thought it was fun. <laughs> and not to mention Uncle Jake was uh, you know, just, just trying to fix the... <laughs> That 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 game where you hit the uh, hit the hammer on the uh, fulcrum and hit the ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Time to turn the page. Is everyone ready? Performers, change your position. I didn't hear an explosion this time. Right. Freeze! Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm sorry. Could you could you please describe this family photo? <laughs> I, I really didn't expect that, uh, that that Rex would actually suffer from hemorrhoids on the track. That was me. Why you thought that anyone was getting smashed in the head with a hammer would fix that? I, I think it's the help of the gravity feed. <laughs> That it actually worked. <laughs> and and uh, I, I just wish that uh, that Uncle Jake just would like stop drinking for five minutes. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you see how his hand actually ends in the frame of the picture. That you really don't know what's in his mouth. <laughs> so I'm speculating that it might not have been the final that he was carrying. All right, time to turn the page. Everyone ready? The farmers switch. I'm sure he paid good money for that action. <laughs> Are you calling my mother a whore? <laughs> That's what it said on the advertisement. Ladies and 
and gentlemen, world's worst. Any and all players may come up at this point. Taller players, please stand on the stage. Shorter players, stay in front. For those of you who do not know how this works, I have a plethora of world's worst topics in my head. As people come up there, I will pull one topic. You will get to do that until I get bored or until somebody is so good that I stop it. That being said, guys, I'm going to need you to project your voices into the audience. Passing a microphone in this game does not work. As I call on you, you are in the front row, and we're going to look at you. I want to back row, and make a motion like this to show that it's fun. Get into the go all right, so what I need from you guys is the topic. Would you mind picking a topic person who I've never met before? He doesn't want like to know that I know him. We're trying to redeem. All right, gentlemen, ladies, others. World's worst things to waste your money on after winning the lottery. World's worst things to waste your money on after winning the lottery. Go!
cheap top hat. Hey, it looks just like Artemis's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh,
shit, is this condom made of kale? <laughs>
notice, I know we've all been performing, but I'm specifically asking for performers. This one is not easy. This is a little bit higher level than we're used to. What this is going to be is this. You are going to receive a quirk, and you are going to need to work that quirk into your character on the stage without outright revealing it. Make sure you can't know what it is right away. You want to slowly build up to the reveal, but you never want to outright give it away. That's what we are looking for in this. We're going to get three quirks. You will get to choose one of them based off of what you think you'd be best suited to play. That being said, now that you know what's in store, I need three volunteers. Can I get the first one from this side of the room? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, white shirt, yes, come on. One from this side of the room. First hand I saw go up. Why don't you come up? Back of the room. Very back of the room. Ears. Ears. Come on up. Alright. Guys, the guests for your party. Now, guys, you cannot shout this because she might be able to hear us. So, without shouting, this side of the room, I need I need a cork from this side of the room. No! <laughs> I heard something over here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our first quirk. I'm going to twerk it a little bit. I'm going to twerk it a little bit. A literal starving artist. An artist who literally cannot afford to eat and is starving. The side of the room? The side of the room? I feel like working. No. Well, I'll be talking to you. Try not to use like proper. And it's an angry, an angry anger. And it's probably Oh, that's fucked up. So now we need one a little bit under that. That is by far one of the hardest things I've heard come out here. Because of the convention theme, I love that. Okay, and the third person is a DM, a dungeon master, somebody who runs a game, who believes his game is reality. <laughs> Alright, so, guys, you don't want her to hear us. The three quirks are literal starving artist, angry anger management counselor, and a DM who believes his game is reality. Uh, there are actually two difficult ones in this one. And this is going to be really hard to do. I can't wait to see your trip. Guys, which one you like to take? You were good? Yeah. Well, how would you stop learning and tell everyone your plan? You were all my minions. <laughs> this is a, a DM who thinks that his uh, dungeon is reality. I am an angry anger management counselor. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> 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 Cool. 
Do you like to be cool? It's my job. It's my job to be cool. Okay, so just just you like me? Call it down. Snacks.
before I can do really dastardly things to you. Just I like this guy. <laughs> now, I need to take a moment behind my screen over here, and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> you, you seem pretty confused. I, are, are you of you course I'm right? confused. <laughs> it's okay to be drunk if it's, oh. if it's to help you. But you cannot keep getting drunk the way you get drunk! It's not good! They got stale food over here! You got no tricky pants over here! Nothing is helping! <laughs> Listen, Bulge. <laughs> Fantastic. And finally, starving artists. 
Yeah. Don't you? Don't you know why it was fun? <laughs>
wearing black. <laughs> Please continue the scene. 
Wow, no, it's just Steven's YouTube work here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't think so. Nula! Didn't make it. 12 didn't think so. <laughs> you know why I asked you in my office? Are you the warden? Nula! Are you alive? <laughs> <laughs> New fucking life! <laughs> it's because you have a bigger black hair. Do you have a bigger black hair? We've been receiving some uh, unusual reports about your behavior. No one. We've heard some disturbing, disturbing things from the other inmates. No one. You should see the footage. <laughs> Was there hail involved? You oh fucking know. <laughs> Real C or D? Oh, 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 oh. Please repeat. Real C or D? Actually, this is tape 5 of 22. New one. Actually, this is one from the uh, National Archives. New one. Actually, this has been on X2 for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs>
wants me to use the ninth stick instead of my pants. <laughs> Dealer's choice. <laughs>
in the safe. New line. In your safe. New line. Way up there. New line. <laughs> All the way up to the elbow. I think it's somewhere in the small intestine. It made it past the large intestine. It was a no loop. Are you saying you determined it, the heart of the ocean? <laughs> Do you remember the night that we spent below decks? I thought that was on the life raft. New line? I thought that was in the engine room. New line? I thought that was on the poop deck. <laughs> Holy shit, look at all these semen.
Guys, begin! Now that I turned all the furries into a million 
hating people that don't like to have sex at all and don't like to go to conventions and don't buy art. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. I, I've just got to say that one. Oh, no. I've ruined the entire fandom. I put Alkali out of business, my real nemesis. <laughs> So very evil. Let me tell you what I think about you, mister. I'll hold the skeleton down, and you put the dress on. <laughs> you bastard. I don't appreciate that at all. Now, let me tell you why I hate Alkali so much. Go ahead. He threw a potato at me, and said it was a traditional Irish greeting. <laughs> say it's a metaphor, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> and ever since that time, it just really hasn't been the same in the family. Well, I know you mentioned him, so I want to bring him up. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Nick! But what I have to say is that I'm really excited here! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Oh my god, I can't believe it! You know what? What is it? Oh, it's nice I'm so happy about it! What is it? Well, I was a little confused the first time I met Lady Nick, but now I look forward to the experience of the omelets! <laughs> Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Isn't it? Isn't it really? Yes, it is. Isn't it, it is. really? No. Isn't it really? That's what his mother said. Really? What else has his mother said to you? His mother has said to me personally on many occasions, 
I'm no doctor, but I think the cause of death is decapitation. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I wouldn't mess with you, I'm rich. I'd hire someone to. Uh, I can, uh, I'm really kind of curious. Is this where we find out where the daddy is? Uh -huh. Would you really like to know who the daddy is? Uh, the first thing we're going to need is a semen sample. Give me five minutes. It's only five minutes. Well, I I'm just curious, at what point do I get to pitch my new book? All right, I guess if you really want to pursue, could you at least tell us the title sequence? What does it say in the book that really is going to bring out? So I, I really want to recognize um, that there's a certain population that has a very large under, um, there, there's a large issue that really a lot of people aren't recognizing in the world today. And so that's why I set out to really write this novel. And the best title I could come up with that could really just reach those concerns that they had was, what level is the squire? Perhaps I can hug him and absorb him into my skin. <laughs> you know, like, the extra AC that you can get from a squire height is really just really It's cool. true, it's true. The AC is really up there. I'm a little bit older. I use that up. So, what are your views? What are your views on Thacko or somebody who is as old as me, over a Olympic, somewhere in their 60s, 70s maybe, 80s, 90s? Stop Keep going. A hundred and some, he's an elf. What is your thoughts? Well, my thoughts about the Thacko is, see, that's a much better system because you start up and go down. Oh, I know all about going wrong. down. I have heard that. I have heard that over because because I'm rich. You can do whatever you want. Exactly. You have to get rich somewhere. <laughs> so, are you saying that that's how you got your your beginning in broadcasting? That is not exactly how I got my beginning in broadcasting. I remember it like it was yesterday. I sat down. The radio announcer introduced me, and he said, "See." Without his God, he's just another screaming guy with bondage gear. Like it was yesterday. And that is why you've never been married. <laughs> since, since your brother is a priest, I know that this is a very personal thing in your family. It is. It is. And when your brother came to me to ask me to hear his confession, because he was so distraught by the way you live your life. He was. The very first thing that he said to me was, everywhere we go, things catch on fire, even the air. <laughs> <laughs> with, with that said, uh, the, the fire and the tobacco and the wonderfulness, um, I'm really excited to be here today. Uh, I really appreciate you coming here. Thank you. And I, I, just, I just wanted to talk about my next project. Um, you know, so of course, so of course, so we all do this. So, you know, once I kill this dire boar, I will make dire bacon, and then we will see who is laughing. <laughs> and I ask all of you one last favor, one last favor. Could you look right into the camera and say our promo for next week's show? Are you ready? The promo for next week's show. What I do I need, need to roll to, to give the judge violent diarrhea? <laughs> I think I've got 10 minutes, right? 950. 950? 10 minutes, yes. Alright, I need two microphones up here. I'll call them for 10. Alright, guys, we're gonna go one last gift. One last look. Now, like I said, tomorrow you're gonna see us doing some of the more difficult games, so I'm not gonna do what you guys are used to. We're not doing Irish drinking song. We're not doing something. Oh, come on. Don't worry! The psychopaths will be doing stuff like that tomorrow. Woo! You know what? Actually, I take that back. I will let you guys have a choice. I want you to cheer for the two games. I'm going to tell them to you first, and whichever one wins, we will play for the end of the night. We can play, don't say it, Irish drinking song, or we can play, uh, one, I had two seconds. Come, give me a second. One. Outfit? With ourselves? Outfit. No, no, no. If you know what I mean. Okay. No, no I don't play it anymore. Uh, 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 film noir. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Sorry, I do not know why I couldn't think of that. All right.
right, so, those of you who would like to see Irish drinking song, let's hear it. Those of you who would like to see film noir, let's hear it. Film Noir is a very difficult game, not because it's difficult to play, because it's difficult to make fun. Uh, Actually, I love this. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce to the stage two people who are on the, uh, the staff of a poster that got put up behind my show for some reason. <laughs> and I have chosen not to say anything about it. The staff of For Real Me. Why don't you come out? Thank you guys very much. At any point, one of them can step to the front of the stage and pause the scene. He will then make a statement just like a noir. It was a cold that started me night when she walked into my office, breast quivering. I watched a lot of really gay film noir with a lot of really weird women. That being said, whatever they say is law. That is now a part of the scene. You cannot go back on it. You both know the rules. All I need is where they're at, or the case that is being presented. The case is called Aquarium on Fire. The name of the episode is Aquarium on Fire. The game is still to all. Go! Go means go. <laughs> oh, film noir, the, 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 the name of the play is Aquarium on Fire. I'm sorry about that. Go. How, how in the hell did you manage this? <laughs> well, you see, I was just, you know, putting the fish away in the tanks, and suddenly there was a lot of fire. <laughs> <laughs> what he didn't know is he, like an idiot, didn't use the freshwater tap. He used the kerosene. <laughs> yeah, I used this weird smelling water that was behind the dumpster. <laughs> weird smelling? Yeah, it was kind of weird smelling. Let's take a sniff. It's on fire! <laughs> we didn't know it, simply, I guess he does now, is that it was on fire. <laughs> What he didn't know is the fact that, well, because I know he's an idiot, I already put flame retardant all over the entire room. He's done this before. <laughs> um, there's, yeah, you're just making a mess. Look at it flow everywhere. Fire's not supposed to flow. But, but lava. Are we putting the floor's lava? If it is, I'm getting fucked up. <laughs> Uh, what he didn't know was, the fish were actually on fire too, and I'm pretty weird. <laughs> All of a sudden, Left Shark enters the scene. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's kind of 
kind of sticky. Um, look, look what you did! I get hired to come over here to clean like one speck of dust a week. That's it. That's it. That's it. And now, awesome. what he didn't know was that while we were all talking, the kerosene had spread to the entire house. We're now standing in an inferno next to a broken aquarium. <laughs> There's gonna be ash everywhere. I mean, I mean, I'm the demonic maid service. I demand exorbitant tips. She feels just like home. <laughs> Left Shark has just gained the ability to fly and wants to get revenge. Go. <laughs> Does anyone else hear Jaws music? <laughs> <laughs> Not for what you think it is. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> Jesus is short! Into my heart. 